Hello everybody, c 3 again with another modded inscription act one run and today we're gonna be playing plants vs zombies so let's see how this will go. Uh, it's a unique mod as far as I know and it has its own mechanic for costs and stuff. Yep, here we go. Uh, <laughs> sun cost, I guess. What this is, it, it works like bones but uh, you get as far as I know one per turn and also you get a bit more if you have units that actually produce it. Let's see what we get here. Spike weed. 3 cost 1-1. One, one, and uh, does 1 damage to whatever tries to block it. I mean, this is wrong here. Yeah, this is completely wrong. But this is uh, the tier 2. The you know, When something comes in front of it, it attacks. I like this already. Push room 3 cost 1-1. One, one, and does what's 4 spare. If a card bearing the sigil defeats another car card, a copy of itself will be returned to your hand. I mean, it's a 1-1. One, one, maybe not. <laughs> Um, a tall, tall nut, four cost zero six fly blocker, completely useless in my mind. Endurion, I mean, especially for a four cost. I mean, this is gonna cost you a bunch, and then you're just gonna be waiting around and looking up the sky. I like how this mod also has a little uh, decal symbol in the corner. I like how I I suggested that, and now everybody is adopting it. I love it. I love it. Four cost zero four with spikes. I mean, okay, same diff problem with the tall nut, so no. Chomper, I mean, at least this kills something. Chomper. 4 cost 2 1 poisonous. I like this. If you, if you if you realize that the sports room is also 3 cost 1 1, I mean, this being a 4 cost 2 1 is already good, and the poisonous is just a little bit of a benefit. 4 cost 4 1, as you should be playing this on the very, le four, uh, very left, being a 4 1, I mean, 4 damage is always good. Uh, jalapeno, I think is how this is called. I don't even know. Uh, what is this? Spicy. At the end of the owner's turn, any card bearing the sigil will explode and deal 4 damage to not only the opposing card but also to the card on the opposing back line cards bearing the sigil cannot be used in city transfers or campfires oh this is not transferable nice and it does four damage to the whole line Eh, it costs five it costs a bit too much as far as i remember in the normal game these cards the the, the jalapeno is cheap right or do i not remember correctly i might not be remembering correctly but five is a bit too much p shooter three cost one two I mean, in comparison to the spike weed, pea shooter is already straight up worse. But, uh, I mean, we're most likely going to pick this. We're most likely going to go for something simple. I was thinking about 1, 2, 3, 4. Although, if I'm going to take this, might as well go for the sports room. If this gets a kill, I get another one for free. While if this gets a kill, it will most likely, something will come in and kill it. I think these, I mean, these three are like a given. Uh, these two are definitely a no-no. This is seems decent, but I'm not sure. For damage not only the opposing card this seems to only do damage to cards by the way this seems to actually happen instantly this doesn't have life or like this hasn't anything it, it's like a spell yeah, we're, we're taking these three for sure four cost four one four cost two one with poisonous and three cost one one with attacks something in front of it and now i'm thinking about sports room against pea shooter honestly i don't think i mean two life sometimes saves you right there are some a lot of not some there are a few things that do one damage so let's go with the pea shooter here yeah let's go with the pea shooter and we're gonna see how this will go as far as i know this uh, has a side deck component to it so let's see what choices we get this is the only choice uh these can power the entire inf infantries one cost zero one that also sun maker two at the end of the owner's turn a carbon sigil will produce two sun so I guess we gain two sun, one sun each turn and also two sun each turn as long as... Oh, there is a counter over here. Yeah, we just got a sun. We were two and now we got three. So at the start of our turn, I guess we get a sun. And at the end of it, we'll get another one. So obviously we're going to go with a sunflower. I would say in the corner, uh, let it let it die in a turn. Pass. We, do two, we take two damage. If only the moon was this useful. I mean, he's right though. <laughs> Uh, we have already the poisonous card here to destroy our opponent. We're obviously gonna play with the hammer in general. Uh, let's draw another one of these. So we're pretty much done with the production of energy. Uh, there is a delay between when I press the click to play the card and when the card actually gets played. And at this point we have already one, so I don't need this. We can play uh, the ding. Uh, this should be a 4-1 exactly. And uh, might as well break this. So that next turn we were winning. And I'm stupid. We're not winning next turn. <laughs> I mean, we are winning next turn, but we're not gaining a lot of overkill. That's my main problem here. Pass. 
We'll get one coin. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't even care about coins. I'm always saying the same thing. You know what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna obviously create a super broken card here. Tall nut, no. Uh, spike weed again, I would say yes. And gold leaf. What is this? Three cost? And this seems to be a spell again, as there are no things to the left. Sun, Sunmaker 1. And then throw on this turn in the carbon the sigil will produce one sun. I mean, it will take a while to pay itself off. And add stats. When a card bearing the sigil is played, its health, attack, and other sigils will be added to every other card on your side of the board. Then this card will perish. Card bearing the sigil cannot be used in sigil transfer campfires. Oh, this is... Ooh. So it's... Ooh. It's three energy and give one sun, sun maker one to all your units. That's what this is. This pays back for itself if you have three units the turn you play it. If you have two units, one turn later. Mm, this seems like a good idea. I would like to get the spike weed too, though, honestly. I would like to get the spike... I mean, ah, this is so good, man. This, this is... This is so fun as an idea, but I want the spike weed because right now my idea is get the chomper, transfer it on the spike weed, creating like something that literally insta kills anything it finds. Obviously, I can also do the opposite, all right? I can put the spike weed on the chomper so that this thing also does two damage each turn instead of one. But now that I have a second spike spike weed here, I could combine them, and then later if I find like a good sigil, I could, uh, for example, right now put the chomper on the spike weed, and then the next round, like not the next round, the next sigil I get would be. Put something else on the spike weed and then combine them because this mod has 40 cards so finding two times the same card is really rare and spike weed is a three cost while this is a four cost so this can be played turn one so let's get the spike weed here for the whole plan this is an insane card but it's a bit too early for our deck i'm gonna go sacrifice most likely items next because i want to be seeing what i pick up uh, as i said we're gonna transfer the ch can i transfer the spike weed on the spike weed nope Okay, we're gonna transfer, as I said, the Chomper to the Spite Weed. Although this thing has two damage, as I said. It doesn't matter that this has two and this has one, as I can just flame it if I need to anyway. Once again, the main problem being the explosions of the... Um, what is it called? The explosions from the mod. I, I, I can't even explain what I'm trying to say here. The Pirate Mod, man. The Pirate Mod. The Pirate Mod's gonna kill us, if anything is. Uh, let's play the Sunflower on the left, in case we need it to block. And uh, next turn, we should be able to play both. Oh, we're only going to be built perfect. The left side is very well blocked the way I need it to be. Let's play Sunflower here, and let's play Spike Weed here. That should kill this. So we're going to take one. Okay. Generally, I should avoid playing Sun Currents on the left, because I want to play the Red Stinger as often as possible, you know? Yes. Oop. I'll actually should be going towards the Surrender here. We can hammer slammer this to start going for the damage. This time I'm not gonna do the same mistake. When I say I'm not gonna do the same mistake, I mean I don't have any more cards to play anyway, so... Boop, boop. Yeah, next turn we will overkill damage. Uh, actually... Only one, I think. Yep. That's good enough, that's good enough. I should have used items. Does this mod give us pack ride? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. We're gonna YOLO here and hope it's anything that has any sigil, sigil whatsoever. I guess a one cost, then it's gonna be a gag. I don't even know what's gonna happen here. The the worst thing that could have happened happened. We're gonna be forced to sacrifice a spike weed here. This was really bad on my hand. I should have used an item, I should have gone to the left. So many things were misplays. I'm gonna throw the gag out of the deck, so we're gonna go with this thing right here. This thing doing one damage when something comes close to it is actually decent. But I'm really disappointed to my own playstyle here because I obviously didn't do what I was supposed to do. It's okay though, it happens. Uh, yeah, we're gonna handle this the same way. We're not gonna play this on the left this time, we're just gonna play it anywhere else. I'm gonna use the gag. I'm not gonna sandbag myself here. It happened. Now uh, if you wanna call me a cheater or whatever, that's on you mostly. Let's go here. Now the Stinger has Machine Gun already, so the Bat isn't really going to do anything. Oh, nope. Dead. This uh, this Sigil always feels like it's going to bug out for some reason. I don't know why. I guess because it happens in Leshy's turn, and things happening in Leshy's turn really get a feeling of might bug out. I'm going to obviously go Sacrifice. This time I should have something to Sacrifice. 
uh, scaredy shroom. Some may consider this one of one a coward for its tactics, but what are their tactics? Scaredy. First of all, it's a two cost one one, so it's easy to play. I mean, the sigil loses one attack, but gains one health when against an opposing card whose attack is greater than zero. Wow, this is really bad. Uh, escape route allows other cards from the freedom of escaping to safety. This gives uh, gives loose tail to everything, right? Card bearing the sigil is played. Its health attack and other sigils will be added to other cards. Yeah, this gives to all their cards um, loose tail. What an awesome concept, by the way. This whole like, give all your cards something. It can energize plants and unlock further potential. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. Everything gets fledgling. I love it. Yeah, let's go with everything gets fledgling. I love it as an idea. And now I cannot even transfer it to something. Wait, what happens if I go here while I'm not able to transfer anything? Is he just gonna say, yo, you can't transfer and he's gonna let us go? Yep, that's exactly what he's gonna do. At this point, should have gone for items. Yeah, at this point, I should not have gone for the sacrifice. Should have gone for the items, get the pack rat, transfer the pack rat onto one of my cards. That's what I should have done. Now that I know. <laughs> now that I know. And I also should have rerolled in the cost section in case there was a, a sun current cost too, because I didn't even check for that. Now we're gonna open as we always open. Pass. And I should really make sure that I'm gonna have some kind of a good deck here. Like good opener. A, a classic wolf cub play there. Uh, I'm not really able to win here. I mean, I am with a red stinger. I need to play the Red Stinger next turn. Uh, not next turn, next fight. So for now, I think I should remove the Greater sh Smoke and play the Spike Weed. Spike Weed will carry us through this phase. So let's remove the Greater Smoke. By the way, this uh, once again is a mod that does not really allow you to sacrifice anything. So the hammer is a forced thing that has to be used. Now, if you disagree, that's on you. Because if you play this game, you will see. I mean, I really don't like this argument in general, by the way. I don't know why I used it. I don't like the argument, the trust me argument, or the if you play this, you will see argument. Uh, I mean, we pass. And I have an idea. I have a really good idea and it's really stupid. And I'm pretty sure some people know what the idea is. These aren't gold nuggets. These are evil. <laughs> I wanted to play the coffee bean. Come on. <laughs> uh, I wanted to play evolved gold nuggets. Anyway, pass. Get him. Get him. Get, get him. Get him. Okay. I'm going to still make the same joke, though. These aren't gold nuggets. These are evolved gold nuggets. It doesn't apply on the... Aww. Aww. I'm disappointed. I wanted them to apply it to the gold nuggets. Would be so fun. <laughs> Would be so fun if we had evolved. Uh, the joke is, by the way, um, this is not normal darkness. From SpongeBob. As far as I know, it's evolved darkness, right? I, I might be even missing the joke completely. And anyway, we're gonna continue here. Let's see what their rares are in this mod. Are they gonna be extremely expensive cards? I mean, this is a four cost, so I already see something not extremely expensive. Defeating this one isn't so simple. Infinite. Zero two with something inside of it. I guess it has itself inside of it. Or if not itself, something that evolves onto this thing. A toadstool. Frogish fungus hot curious. It's a six cost, one two with poison and sun kill. When a card on the sigil defeats another card, the other card will drop three sun... Ooh. When this kills, it gives us sun. And it also has poisonous. Would be nice if I had another one of those machine guards now, didn't it? Wouldn't it? Uh, three Peter. They say three heads are better than one. I mean, it's true. I mean, triple strike, as always. Uh, let's go explore. Okay, this is exploring. This is insane. Giving us three sun each turn uh, on kill. And this is a, just a triple strike that I'm going to transfer to something, right? It's as simple as that. Let's not go with the boring choice, okay? This is also fun, but let's go with infinite. Let's see what exactly infinite means for this specific one. I will assume, randomly saying, uh, like, I will I will just say that this is going to be the following. First of all, we got the first pack rat. We can't avoid man or, or path. I will say that this thing 
will become something that has waterborne so that it lets attacks through and evolution so it revolves back to the infinite let's see how close i am to truth why'd i go here i need sacrifice outlets i should have gone to the right i mean let's try to win i guess i don't think we can even win yep nope we lost there was no chance of us winning but at least the deck stays small and here we're gonna get the pack right there to the deck which i really disagree with obviously Please, 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 please be one of those mods. Nope. It's not one of those mods. Uh, let's go this path as I always avoid the shop anyway. But saved why? Oh, oh, this is death. This is like one of the hardest fights. Yep. And this is gonna evolve into... Oh, this is gonna evolve into 1-3. Yeah, I mean, uh, most of the time this fight has the balance that you have a ringworm keeping one lane close so you deal with the three work rants. Well, now that's not true. Uh, although this can definitely handle the left no it cannot as these have two life so as long as this does not one shot anything yeah we are in some problems here uh should i go for the quick skip which is these two you know what let's go for the quick skip i hate this fight i mean at the end of the day we're gonna get an item anyway out of this Splash, splash, and win. That's why the items are for, to win. They're not to panic mode use, maybe save yourself. You, you just have to think, can I beat this fight in, in two or three turns? If the answer is maybe, then you think about it. If the answer is yes, then you don't use the items. And if the answer is doesn't really look like it, then you just <laughs> obviously don't go for it. Really great power plant. Three cost and then gives you three per turn. No, we're gonna go with the spike read. I continue with my plan. Onwards with a plan. Onwards with a plan. What can I transfer to spike read? I guess pack rat. It'd be nice if I had that thing that gave it poisonous and also a three sun on kill. Two life. I would say do this thing. Now it's literally the tentacle. We're gonna keep it as is. Actually, I can YOLO it. You're th you feel that I'm I'm thinking about the YOLO. <sighs> this is gonna lose us the run. YOLO? Lose the run? It's 50-50 on the YOLO loser. This is 20% chance to burn. And with my luck... I, I, I didn't say anything. Shh, nobody talk about this. Nobody talk about this. We just burned one of our best cards, by the way. I'm most likely, <laughs> I'm most likely gonna go to the right there and try to actually win that. Okay, this is the same fight as previously, but at least this time it should be manageable. Oh, this changed! This became Kawaii! Because I have the because I have the eye. <laughs> nice. Nice addition. Things like these are what make these fun. Uh let's have the sunflower on the left every turn just giving us free sun. While we take four damage here. That was extremely bad. That was so bad. Oh, uh, I think we just lost. Ah, Infinite is here. I can test it out. I mean, I'm gonna go with the second turn here. Otherwise, we lose. And I do prefer having the bone thing on the final fight. So, let's get the free turn here. Why did I, why did I use the bones? Because they're pretty useless. Let's play this here. And uh, we're out of... Yeah, we're out of energy. Boop, that dies. Into energy. You pass. I know. Now we have five, so I can play the infinite and the spike weed. Nope, I cannot play them both. Uh, I think we will also lose. Like, we use all our items and we're also going to lose. So I should have played this spike weed here. Uh, this spike weed on the left and this spike weed on the right. Yeah, for sure I misplayed this. What can I actually do right now? Mm, first of all, what is in here? Let's draw a card from here. Gek. Ooh, we were lucky. Luck is with our side. I can play the pack rat. Kill the work rant. Do one damage and take two. And lose. No, we won't, we won't take two because... No, no, we will take two because pack rat will be not on the spot I needed. I can... Hmm... I think I should play spike weed here. And Gek on the right. Buy ourselves one turn. Yeah, that turn's gonna be enough. 
Well, uh, what am I gonna do next turn then, though? Oh wait, why, why would I play Spike Weed? I can play Infinite here. So let's play Gek on the right and Infinite on this spot to see what exactly it does. Actually, Gek here, so I get one more damage. Ooh. Let's play. Maybe should have played. No, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. This is dead. I'll work around, obviously. Ah, it's actually better than I thought. I was pretty close to it, though. I was pretty close to guessing what exactly that thing was. Coffee Bean. Yeah, we're gonna play this for sure. It's gonna instantly activate, right? Yep, perfect. And here we're gonna... Oh, that costed energy. Well, uh, we do one and take two. So we're good. We're, we're okay. Yeah, but that thing's never gonna arrive. Yeah, but the infinite is gonna continue being an infinite. Um, I mean, yeah, we're pretty much uh, in the clear here. He shooter. I don't. I don't need to do anything, honestly. Actually, I need to buy myself some time. What am I talking about? I need to buy myself some time for this spike, uh, spike rock to actually start doing some damage. What happened? What? This thing evolves into double strike, and wow, this thing has an evolution. I love it. I love the fact that this thing has an evolution. And this thing also get, got three sound current instead of, you know, instead of just being that uh, it, it actually got the stat higher. I love it, man. I love it. Let's throw these in the bin until we win. But I love the fact that these actually evolve into something that does something. The infinite is actually worth it, by the way. Pass it up that. I'm gonna play on the last turn my... I love the infinite. Okay, time to get an item out of this. Okay, useless. Completely useless. I should have used it to... Ah, use it, use it! Ah, use it! Ah, I, I wanted to use it in case I found an event. Now here I'm gonna go for definitive try to win, if I'm possible. I mean, this is a free win because all my plants are plants, right? Plants are plants? Are you kidding me? I think we lost, right? Yeah, because these are not plants. They are attack plants and special plants and they have like different... Affiliations. I would say we go flame. Because sacrifice right now, what would I actually sacrifice onto what? Like pack rat on the gek. That's the only thing possible to get sacrificed here that would not be complete trash. I think that's what I'm gonna do actually. Yeah, pack rat on the gek, let's go. I'm trying to maintain my deck small so I can play only my best cards. Maybe I'm pea shooter. I want to actually, honestly speaking, I want to trash the Gek. So let's go with this on P Shooter, so at least it does something. I'm trying to, you know, balance the fact that I'm showcasing a mod while also not using cards that are not from the mod. I guess it's fair. I guess. We're gonna obviously use this right away because it's useless and I want better ca uh, cards. Uh, I guess. Sunflower on the left. And like the gag on the right. As I said, I'm not gonna on purpose not use cards. It is what it is. It's part of the deck. Let's go here. Nice. Let's go with the super spike weed first. Boom. Oh, that's dead. Okay. That's actually extremely bad. This man is coming in. Go here. I have five bones. We're gonna go up. Five, uh, what's this called? Sun. So that's dead now. Pass. Boom. Tuk, tuk, tuk. Dead. Oop, dead. Okay. Now we're gonna go with the simple fact that, uh, yep, yeah, this thing. Let's see what item I get. It's useless. Let's throw it away right away. Maybe I could have gotten a clock or something, you know, that's why I use that thing. See what we get. And if we get trash, we just use it right away to go for this. Very nice. I enjoy the mod right now. It's it's pretty decent. Fortify all of your cards with this one simple track. <laughs> I love it. It also has a meme inside of it. Uh, it may be sweet, but you shouldn't underestimate it. A feisty one for sure. Uh, 4 cost 2-2. Two, two. Just that. 5 cost. What does this do? Sweet. At the end of the owner's turn, any card in the sigil will explode and deal 2 damage to the card in the, in the 3 enemy slots around it. 
then deal one damage to the cards in your adjacent slot. Card bearing the sigil cannot be used in sigil transfer or campfires. So this thing does two, two, two. No, yeah, it does two, two, two. So two damage mantis attack and one damage on your allies. This thing, although, is four energy, give all of your units shield. This seems extremely strong. It has one life too. I don't know what it has. Oh, and it also gives them one life. So it gives them one life and also shield. This is really, really good. Uh, one more life to this and a shield. One more life to. I mean, this doesn't need it. Uh, by the way, I don't have. I don't even have enough units. Oh, this is not gonna go well. This is not gonna go well. Uh, I, li I like the pumpkin, but I, I need some units to be able to play the game. He sure it again. Pumpkin again. And scored. Uh, you know what? With these choices, what are you giving me, man? I guess I could go pea shooter because I can combine them. Well, I said the same for the spike weed, but I haven't combined them yet. Should I go pumpkin for the utility aspect of it? But I I'm not going to be able to play. That's the main problem. I'm not going to be able to play. Shielding my units is good and all, but if I'm not going to be able to... Ah, it's really bad, man. The pea shooter is real trash. Let's go pumpkin, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. This isn't going well. I know, I know I'm- Oh, that was a misclick, but a good one. I mean, eh, not the best one, but eh, I can at least use it as a blocker, I guess. I don't know, I don't even have a blood sacrifice on any card. Okay, book time. Yeah, this fight in general is a joke, so we don't really care about this. Uh... I guess we play the sunflower. Wait a minute. If I play the spike weed on the left right now. Yeah, if I play the spike weed on the left, I can make sure I'm not gonna get hit. Like, uh, at all from the kingfisher. And then I can give him the sunflower. Like, I don't care if he has the sunflower. Okay, get this. And uh, I want to slow play this. I want to set up my whole board. I can give him some sunflowers. Who cares? Dead. He can't even do anything against us. You take this sunflower. Pass. As far as I know, this should still give us energy. Yep, it gave us even two energy on my turn, another two energy on his turn. Ha ha ha. Get countered. It was a trap. Let's go with nothing, honestly. Literally nothing. I'm gonna play sunflower next turn. Yeah, we're gonna slow play this. There is no danger to us. He still creates, uh, produces sunflowers for us. I should have played the spike weed first, by the way. Yes. Hookity hook. Let's go here. Pumpkin. Okay, we're gonna go spike weed. I'm gonna go evolve them. Poverty, poverty, pop. Okay, we're gonna go pumpkin them. Poverty, 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 pop. And we're gonna go pass. And next turn I'm winning. Nope, whoops, whoops. Now they have double machine gun and they are two force. Because they have double machine gun, it means that the moment the sharks come along, they get shot once and then another one and then another one and then another one. Boop, dead, whoop, boop, dead and boop, dead. Same goes for Goofish. <laughs> he has like a delay of what's happening. It's like, uh, but, but, but Goofish. Unless <laughs> you're a bit behind in the times. Let's go. Barely surviving. Oh no. Oop. I played the infinite for no, for no reason whatsoever. Should have obviously played the, <laughs> the sun current. Uh, the, not the pea shooter. Doesn't matter, man. Doesn't matter. Going pretty decent. It's going pretty decent. Let's see what we get. Okay, sea shroom, a one-one underwater, just a little mushroom sitting on the water. Okay, I mean it's a gek, but it's arguably worse. But okay, I guess. Infinite again and spike rock. Oh, already pre-upgraded. Five cost two three. I mean this. These are good sigils to transfer something else. I'm saying this uh, sentence like a million times, but it is true. And this is really bad, in my opinion. Like, no, this is not bad. Actually, if I could have both of them, transfer the spike room onto the sea room, then maybe. But 
I don't know. I don't want underwater, especially with two and three damage units coming in. I'm going to go with Sp Spike Rock here because two sp two, this is really good, especially against the pirate boss fight. This is really good as a few units have one or two life or even have the ability to evolve. In general, having this machine gun ability is really good. Okay, I'm going to go here left to th throw the, the Gek out of the deck so that the Gek, the, the deck is what it's supposed to be. Otherwise, I can go like, nah, let's, let's be tried and true to what I said. Try to keep everything clean and simple, like how it should be. Let's continue going around. Uh, let's try to win for once. You know, uh, not really possible though. Life is maybe possible. Maybe. Maybe. If I roll the three damage, nope. Ah, nope. I tried. I tried. <laughs> the next day is small no matter what I do. Uh, I'm not flame and flame, but have this in between. No, no, no. We're gonna go this path. It's also gonna give us the less, the least amount of cards. Throw this out of the deck. Let's be fair. I love the spell cards, though. Put this kind of path. Oh, we're dead. This is the um, the three three flyer. No, what is this? No, but it is actually the what? Since when does this fight have a border in it? I mean, we are dead. This is the fight that would kill us, but... <laughs> what? What should I do here? I can just hook this thing and be done with this. Or I can even snip it. It's, it's gonna be a win anyway. Uh, I mean, we're gonna play the Sunflower here, as it's just gonna produce resources forever. And we're gonna pass, because we can't do anything else. Okay, from what I'm seeing coming in, I think I should go for the hook instead of the... Um... First of all, I think I should get even more energy. This was a mistake. Should have played the spike root here and snipped this. I could have controlled everything. Uh, well, the snip plan still stays. Okay. Now, if I attack, this mole is gonna join. So, what I want to actually do is let this raven egg arrive, then play the spike weed, not this, play the spike rock on the left, play the spike weed on the right. Spike rock will attack, will bring the mole in front of it and kill it completely. Spike weed will attack, make the raven egg move to the left, and by moving this, no, this will move to the right though. That is going sideways. Do I? Can I survive? I cannot really survive. I need to kill the Raven Rock right away. How how can I, how can I do this? The other choice would be to try to kill the mole as fast as possible. I think that's the play. Try to kill the mole. So play this spike weed here. It tries to attack, makes the mole move to the left. I should obviously not play the sunflower here. Man, so many mistakes because I play too fast. Why why do I why do I forget to calculate things in the beginning, in the middle of the fight? Ah, all of these are my mistakes. Genuinely, genuinely my mistakes. If I just played the spike rock, everything would have been so much simpler. I think I should just restart this fight and play the spike rock instead of being stupid and playing the sunflower for no reason. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Boo me all you want, I don't care guys. Like, I, for some reason, I decide to calculate things before I calculate things. Like, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know, man. I I guess I'm a bit tired sometimes. I should not be, though. I should be on my full list all the time so that it looks more coherent instead of being, whoa, I'm doing this and whoa, I'm doing that. I'm gonna keep everything. Uh, the rest is gonna literally be the same thing. So, I drew from the side deck. I snipped this. And the only thing I'm changing is that I'm gonna play the spike rock here. Pass. This dies. Whoop. Whoop. And dead. It's so much simpler, you see. This is literally what I had to do. The only thing I had to do. I, I didn't even have to do anything else. And now I even produce three per round so I can even play the spike weed again. So we're a sideways card. We're gonna go with spike weed here. Now we will do three damage and take two. Does the spike rock devolve further? Imagine if the spike rock evolves further. Or energy. Pass. We do three, we take two. I think should really be able... Uh-oh. 
This is not only gonna kill. Oh, this is really bad. Spike weed poison version. Now we're gonna hammer slam with this as it's already dead. We're gonna play the spike weed poison version here. Uh, let's play the sunflower just to create some energy, and I'm gonna hammer slam it in a bit. Dead. Yep. This is gonna continue for a while. We can hammer slam with this. I hope. Uh, I I want to see this evolve. I love this card. I love these cards. Yep, I'm out of energy, I know. Pass. Let's see. Does the Spike rock evolve, rock evolve into something even more insane? Elder Spike Rock coming in. Elder Spike Rock it is. <laughs> uh, at this point, we win right away because it's 5 damage. And we win. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's go on this path. There is a shop down there, obviously. Let's try to win once again. Maybe, maybe we get something out of this. I mean, th this has a chance to win. It, it has a chance if I draw two same cards. Utility, attack, defense, utility. We somehow lost. I see combination coming up. The thing I was waiting for this whole time. I mean, all are useless. It's, it's not like these will get affected. And this is double useless. I guess... This to continue finding sigil has like like the, 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 that's completely useless. So I guess if I combine the spike weed with the spike weed, I never was able to do what I wanted to do. <laughs> I never got another sigil onto that thing. Never had the chance. Oh, this is death. We lose this fight for sure. I can't even play a sunflower or anything because these will come all in together and they will attack at the same moment right away. Uh, would be nice if I had the poison spike weed. Yeah, if I had the poison spike weed, maybe something could have happened. But now this is super over. I can't. This needs five energy, and there is no way of getting more energy. I guess I can play the pea shooter and hope for a good item. I think I should just play the sunflower. Play, play the sunflower. Next turn, play the Spike Rock. Spike Rock kills the Alpha. We take 4 damage. We lose. Spike Rock kills the Raven Egg. We take 1 plus 3. 4 damage. Oh, this is even worse, man. I think I need to hook the Alpha. Play the Sun... First of all, play the Sunflower is almost guaranteed here. The question is, do I want it alive or not? I think... I want it alive. And the next turn... Play Spike Rock here. Hook the Alpha. Alpha's gonna do one. Right now we're about to take three. Let's play the Sunflower in a safe spot. And hope no more flyers are gonna join us. Okay, this is not a flyer, so we're decent. Let's go here. <laughs> so, I hook the Alpha. And uh, play the Spike Weed here. So we do one, and we take two. Actually, if we take two, we lose. Well, should have played the squirrel. Yep, can't, can't actually do anything about this. I can't play this pea shooter instead of the spike rock. I can hook this. Play the pea shooter, hope for a good item. Well, if that's the case, just play the pea shooter, hope for a good item. Okay, we got a good item. So, I would say change of plans. Just play the clock. Because the Pea Shooter is going to kill this, and the Spike Rock is going to kill this. So, and we can definitely take one damage, like one damage isn't anything. So, let's go here. Yep, this is dead. This is dead. This is dead. Alpha is going to do one damage, and Wolf Cup is going to kill my Sunflower, but who cares? Pass. You pass, exactly. Let's go here. The Poisonous version. Uh, I will play the Spike Rock. Let's play the Poisonous version too. Uh, let's play the Spike Rock, it gets through more damage. Uh, so we will not do any damage, but we will only take one. Up, up. Yep, that's dead. Sunflower's dead, but who cares? Okay, now we have three energy for the Poison Spike Weed, and we will also do three damage while we take three. So let's not play the Sunflower. <laughs> Actually, I think I should leave the Alpha alive. Let's play the spike weed. We're gonna take three damage from this side, but this side is more easily manageable than a wolf. Is it? 
Actually, we're gonna take four. Let's not make a mistake. Let's take three. <laughs> Let's go this here. And I would say pass. Actually, I shouldn't even play the poisonous over there. I should have played the normal one. Because the poisonous would have one-shot the left side. Do I have energy? I don't. Can we buy ourselves some time. Do three, take two. Yeah, now that I think about this, this spike weed is not even going to be able to do anything. Not going to be able to do enough damage to the alpha to kill it. But we win. We win. Yeah, uh, the sun the sun things being really slow start to really be obvious, right? It starts becoming really obvious that they are a bit too slow. Now we do four. We take four. Oh, it became a repeater. Oh, it's gonna kill the alpha in a moment. <laughs> nice. Let's go non-real card because I want some energy. We do four. Oh, we did five. Okay. It is what it is. Um, now, I can either... I can't do anything, man. Transfer is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. We're gonna go this path and combine the two spike weeds, make them a 2-2. Two -two. I think that's like the only plan we have that makes sense. And also combining them, I think, will also make it so that they have the double double machine gun. Although that doesn't matter because it has poisonous, but, you know, let's... Okay, we, we win once. Did we have this previously? I think we had this previously and I missed it. I think I made a mistake and didn't pick that up. Three cost 1-1, one, one, Stinky and Sniper. I love this. Zero cost 1-1. One, one. I mean, this is free. I'm gonna go with a free one damage each turn. It's brittle. I know. Brittle is not good in general because it opens up the opponent attacking after you attack it. But it's a free unit that I can play each turn. So it's one day. It's as if I'm playing one damage each turn. And if if this spot the the this if the spot gets filled, then it is what it is. I just realized that we had more time. I should have gone for the sacrifice, obviously. But actually, I didn't even have anything sacrificed, so forget that. Did this get double machine gun or not? Wait a minute, did that get double machine gun? Why does this not have double machine gun? Why did this not get this thing? I don't know. Let's continue. Sacrifice over there. Okay, let's see what we got. Elk fawn. We got the free unit. Uh, we also got the pea shooter. I mean, we're gonna play the free unit for damage, so let's, let's play this here. It's, it's regardless where we play that, doesn't matter. Uh, pea shooter. For an item, I guess. And then Sunflower next turn. While at the same time I'm drawing from the real deck. It's not really a good idea though. I think I should go up to 5 energy and draw from the real deck next turn too. So let's play this. Uh, maybe even play the squirrel to buy ourselves. No, we're gonna play the squirrel when we're gonna be taking 2 damage, not 1. I'll let the Sunflower die. card. Five energy. Nice. Spike rocks here. Oh, so this is a lot of damage. A spike rock on the right kills two units. And then squirrel over here to block one damage and we take two. And we survive. Yeah, actually I can even kill something with the puff, puff room. Ah, we go spike rock on the right. So these two are dead. It's gonna join and do one damage to us. Puff room can kill one of these. So that's definitely gonna happen. And uh, I guess we play Squirrel to not take 2 damage. Yeah, because in general we're gonna take like 3 otherwise. This dead. All of those died. Yep, we take only 1. And everything going towards the right and close to Spike Rock will die too. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> when people think that moving around is good. Uh, let's go here to block 2 damage and let's play the Puff Shroom to continue doing 1 damage each turn. Pass. To not take two damage is actually what I meant to say. Oop, that's dead. It's okay. We have three energy, so if I get... Nope. I didn't get what I wanted to. Uh, so we're gonna take a few hits here, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, puff Shroom for the hit. Pea Shooter for the hit. We get a Black Goat. Completely useless item for us. Um, yeah, I'm gonna remove it from the from the item pool. Because it's really bad. I, I It's literally useless for us. I prefer to go for items here. That's why. How use is it? And also we can go for sacrifice or combine. But we can go for another combine. Making it a 3-3. Three, three. 
Or I could combine these to making them give two to all the team. Like make make this a three three. I think making this a three three is a good idea. Yeah, let's make this thing a three three. And I have a hook to carry us on the item side. I have the one of the best items in the game to hopefully carry us against the pirate boss fight. And I hope I make it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. By the way, I had an idea about the outro. I just announced the idea that I have about the outro, but you're going to see it when the outro comes. So prepare for that. I'm saying it now so that for people that are watching everything know. Or people that skip maybe miss it. And then, so that you guys stay to the end and see what the idea is. <laughs> I'm devious. I obviously want to play Sunflower in a protected spot because we need some energy. We're gonna play the Greater Smokes here and here because, you know, they beat that thing. And we're gonna also play the Puff Puff Shroom because why not? Let's hope that this thing gets the block. Nope. The worst thing that could have gotten the block got the block. Gain energy out of that. Nice Revenant on a spot that we don't care. Would have even been better if it wasn't the Sunflower spot, obviously, but it isn't. Infinite? Is that a good idea? Let's go with... Do I have energy? Yes, let's go with this. I know it's not gonna damage here at all, but it doesn't matter. Here, yeah, I have not got the kill it wanted. Okay, can I, can I do one more damage? I can with the Puff Shroom. So we have lethal here. So let's not draw a real card. Let's draw a fake card here. So we don't lose, uh, car like, any of our good cards. There is a chance we're gonna lose the Spike Rock here, but it is what it is if we lose it. I hope we lose the Sunflower and the Greater Smoke instead of the Spike Rock. Like, I hope we lose, like, you know, as I, the things I said. The things I said. I don't know why I'm trying to say it twice. It's gonna be three bombs as far as I know. One, two, three. Perfect. We didn't lose even anything. I would have preferred if we lost... We lost my whole hand! No. The infinite spawned on the opposite side. Oh no. And this is completely infinite. You can't handle it. I mean, it's gonna be an infinite block or two though. And I can actually handle it. Spike rock obviously carrying. How much energy do I have? Four. Okay, can I draw my poison thing? Nope. Uh, let's obviously play the cannon over here. So we do not die. And let's play the sunflower on the left. And um, leave that side completely be for us forever. This side is ours pretty much. This is zero two. So this is free energy for us for the rest of the fight. Boom, boom. Uh, let's protect our, our greater smoke. Boop, boop, dead. Anna's still alive. Uh-oh, the shark's gonna kill my spike rock. Explain to me what happened on the left. This thing, I think, does not exist. I think the infinite here is, uh, is, is fake. It's a phony. Okay, we got the Spike Weed of Victory, so let's just play the Spike Weed of Victory, and we win. You see, it's a phony. I told you it's a phony. It's a lie that they have made you believe. Bugs, man. Bugs. Let's continue. We actually beat this fight. I mean, this fight is really weak against the Machine Gun Sigil. Doom Shroom, a force to be reckoned with. It's a 4 cost, 0, 2 that evolves on something. I'm most likely gonna pick this up just to see what it does. Although there is a chance that it's obviously gonna kill my whole deck, but YOLO! Let's go. We're most likely gonna go items here because, you know, having items is always a safe option. Ah, let's go for the safety option as always. Oh, I was clicking so fast, I was ready to pick this thing up. Let's go with the plier for a random damage shit, and let's go for another plier for random damage shit. Should have gone for something else well then, I don't... <laughs> By the way, last video I said that maybe the mod creator decided to change the balance on the items we get. Yeah, that was actually wrong. I'm sorry for accusing. I mean, I didn't really accuse, I just... You know, if you take it as an accusation, so be it, but honestly, I just said that I think that might be what happened, and uh, I don't know. Let's go. In my opinion, when somebody says to you, yo, you're doing this, and your answer to that is, no, I'm not, then then the discussion is over. <laughs> like, 
I don't know how to say this. Like, it, it, it seems a bit weird to me that people find offense, uh, be, like, find it offensive. By the way, the mod creator of the previous mod did not find it offensive, right? They they explained in the comments what happened, and I just pinged it, etc. So everything is fine with that. I'm just saying here, like, this is a completely random thing I'm saying. It, I, find, I always find it weird when people find it offensive when I either misrepresent them or when I explain things that they don't really believe. Because when people say to me that I believe something that I don't, I just say, no, I don't believe that. And the discussion ends there. Like, if the if if somebody disagrees with you and their position, uh, they think that you have believe something that you don't, the only thing you have to do is just tell them what is actually the fact. And, and the discussion ends there. Like, they, they cannot disagree on what if you literally tell them, um, no, I didn't do it. Or no, I, I just don't believe that. <laughs> By the way, I obviously don't talk about uh, any legal stuff, etc., right? You can obviously come in here and say, Oh, okay, why doesn't everybody just say that they're innocent? Then I, I don't mean that, obviously. Okay, first of all, we need to avoid the hammer slammer here. So we're gonna do the classic opening of double smoke into the mole man here. And uh, we're gonna pass. We could obviously, we could also hook the mole man and instantly win. That was stupid. I could have just played the spike weed as turn one, hook the mole man. Smoke, smoke plus spike weed is five damage, and then spike weed would kill the incoming fears. <laughs> so many mistakes. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna continue this. So we're gonna play a sunflower here in the corner. Get a bunch of sun. Boop, boop. Tick, 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 tick. We get a protective gold nugget. Not a protective gold nugget. Not so protective gold nugget, and no gold nugget that doesn't do anything. Now, what's the difference between these? You, you might ask. Nothing. I just decided that they have different values. I can draw whatever I want. I could draw the Doom Shroom and test it. I have enough energy to test it. I don't want to test it while the Spike Weed is on the board, though. Like, this is my super card. 5 plus 4 is 9, so theoretically I can test it with the Spike Rock, or the Spike Rock will die. You know what? For now, let's just go for the win here. Um... I don't know what this will evolve into, man. But test, I shall. And if we lose, then I, I, we lose. I don't care. Like, honestly speaking, I, I don't... I'm not really... I, I don't really mind if we lose because something happened that I didn't know. What is this? At the end of the owner's turn, any card in this sigil will explode, deal 7 damage to all the opposing cards, along with 1 damage to all of the owner cards. I'm okay with this. And then leave a creator where it stood. I I'm still okay with this. 7 damage to all the opposing cards. All of these are dead. This is at the end of the owner's turn. So this will happen after I attack? Or when will this happen? I don't know. Regardless of when this happens or not. We're gonna give a sunflower to Leshi here. And um, yeah. The sunflower will most likely explode. But it doesn't matter. Let's do 3 damage here. Oh by the way. This might bug out. This might try. Moleman will try to block. The this thing, the machine gun will kill it with the poisonous, and then this guy is gonna get completely bugged out. He he will try attack and it will get bugged out. So that's what I think is gonna happen. Oh, it didn't. This is really nice then. Explosion. Only destruction lays in its wake. I love you, Leshy man. I love you, man. Leshy's like mechanics. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> Mechanics, <laughs> Leshy man, I love you when you're doing these stupid things and literally doing stupid things like hooking away something that's supposedly a complete trash thing. Oh man, I obviously could have hammered that, but it's so fun when he's like, I'm gonna take that zero to underwater. That's dead already. Poisonous? What's this? What's this? Leshy, you cheating again, man? Let's get the puff room to start doing some free damage. I mean, pass. I would have played the... I, I pass. I can't do anything. Oop. Yeah, that, that's not gonna happen. Dead. We get spiked for one. We hit left and right. Dead. Yeah, next turn I win anyway. Uh, let's get a few more of Sun Currents. I mean, let's play the Spike Rock here. As it's free damage. Let's play the Sunflower here. As it's not gonna die. And... Off, off over there. And that's 5 damage and we win. 
Okay, here the main question lies. Is the moon gonna join the map, get sniped by the snipe weed, and instantly die from poison? This is the big question that everybody was waiting for. 3, 2, 1, whoop. 3, 2, 1, whoop. Dead. Love it. I love it. I really love it. I really do. Uh, let's go here. Let's draw, I guess, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Uh, honestly speaking, I want to get the photo shoot in here. So if you don't mind, we're going to just slow play this a bit. It's just going to take like one turn, guys. It's not going to be that much. And I can't even slow play it immensely because this thing does three damage anyway. And um, yeah, I think the photo shoot is going to be the puff shroom and the infinite. I think this is a good photo shoot. Boop. We win. As simple as that. Okay. And we are arrived to the point that everybody was waiting for. So, about the mod. First of all, uh, let's. Uh, first of all, thanks for all the Patreons for the support. They're helping a lot. And secondly, I enjoyed the mod, I have to say. Um, yeah, oh, by the way, everybody that's here, maybe drop a like, subscribe to the channel, etc. So, I joined the mod. Uh, it was a bit slow. Would be nice if this mod somehow affected the Bone Lord and gave you plus one energy on the start of the fight or something like that. That would be really nice. And even integrate in... I mean, you couldn't really integrate the whole sacrifice on the Bone Lord. Maybe you could, you know? Maybe you could make it so that if you get the double... The double plant because normally like the the plant that gives you double the double the energy was a three cost zero two that gave you three per turn so that's extremely bad because the side the card that you have for free is one energy for two per turn and that thing is three energy for three per turn so it's really bad investment and it's also in your deck so if you draw it from the real card but if you could sacrifice it on the moon lord boom like bone lord and then it gave you eight energy like uh, you could do a bunch of things with this mod that would make it extremely fun and also it would feel like it's integrated to the mechanics of inscription right because right now there there didn't seem to be a sun cost on the choice where the where you choose costs although that might be my mistake because i didn't reroll that ever maybe that exists so i'm i'm sorry if i'm wrong about that but in general, I like the mod, right? The only thing, the only, and I mean the only thing that I was a bit mech about was um, that it was slow from start to finish because you had to build up the energy every single time and you never, you know, snowballed into extremely fast energy production. But it's not really that bad. Honestly speaking, you know, the only thing you have to do, the only thing bad with that is that you cannot really have expensive cards in your deck, right? Um, not being able to generate energy really quickly mostly hinders your deck building ability it doesn't hinder your power level because you can just do what i did like you have three you can use flames you can use sacrifice you can create extremely powerful low cost cards but that is true for every single mod in the game right however trash your mod tries to be or however strong your mod tries to be no matter what you do at the end of the day uh, as long as we have flame and sacrifices we can just create op cards that does not mean that that should get nerfed that just means that that's inscription um, but uh, if anything, it would be just more fun, right? Because you cannot stop the player from creating broken cards and broken decks. The only thing you can actually do is give them some choices to make that uh, might be better than the flames. Because if the choices are worse than the flames and the sacrifice, then they're just not going to take them. So it would be nice if there was some kind of way to create more starting energy somehow. So that because the, the only the only thing that I didn't like with this mod was that you had to play a sun in the first turn, like you had to play the flowers in the first turn. But honestly speaking, that's like how zombies plays anyways. So I guess it's fair in that aspect. Now the thing about it, it's fair. It's fair. Anyway, in general, I enjoyed the mod. So this is plants versus zombies. Yep, nice zombie. -er. Only one zombie. Let's make here, yeah, a zombie plants versus zombie. And I think that's going to be it for today. So yeah. I don't know. I don't think I need to say anything else. By the way, mod creator, if you are here and watching this, you can comment down below. Obviously, point out that you're a mod creator and whatever else you want to say. And I'm going to comment you. So pin you in the comment section in case you want to say something specific about the mod or whatever. So yeah, there's that. I think that's going to be it. Um, yeah, what did I say I'm going to do here at the end? I don't remember what I said. I don't remember what I wanted to do here at the end. Or is it a fake out? And I do remember. <laughs> anyway, um, that is going to be it for today. So once again... Thanks for watching. See you guys.